Hi, I'm Lee Hong from Group Hacking Student. For this assignment one, I'll be representing our group to explain the criteria of our game for this multi-platform game project. So, first, what is our player? Our player will be role-playing a little cute penguin that moves and collect all the fishes in the snowy icy platforms. Next, how will our players interact in the game? Our player will be moving around the platforms to collect all the fishes. At the same time, the player has to avoid the enemies that will be chasing him or her when he or she is within the chasing range. Next for the game team, since our player is a cute penguin, so the game will be having an Antarctic and cute team. Also, since the game is casual, so our game will be bright and a little bit fantasy. Moving on to the tone and color scheme, our game will be having a bright tone. For the color scheme, some colors like bluish white, white and maybe gray will be used to build out the Antarctic environment. Other color like red will be used for the enemy. The obstacles in our game is similar to other platformer games. There will be stairs and walls as the environment obstacles. There are enemies that chase the player. Also, time constraint is introduced to make the game more challenging where the player has to collect all the features within a time given. For the goal of the game, just like previously mentioned, it is to collect all the features to clear the level. So in general, in this game, the player needs to avoid the enemies and environmental obstacles while collecting all the features to unlock the next level. For our competitors, there are some companies that had made similar games like cyborg games that made Subway Surfers, Bandai Namco that made Pac-Man, and Nintendo that made Mario. All of them have successfully created the popular IPs. They have also done well in terms of game mechanics. For example, in Pac-Man, there are diversities in enemy AIs. First, the enemies have different modes or states, like chasing and scattering, which means the enemies are not always chasing the players. Second, when they are chasing, there are different algorithm in use. For example, one of them chases the current position of the player, the another one will chase the position ahead of the player, and etc. On the other hand, they all share a similarity which they have not done well, and that is the ads issue the advertisement issue. For example, in Subway Surfers, when players return to the main screen, the home screen, they are forced to watch an ad, and the players are not very happy with it. This issue has been criticized by the players across the Play Store 
or in the social media. Therefore, the thing that the players have always asked for is fewer ads. For our target audience, it will be 13 to 17 year old light gamers and mostly girl. Why? First, our game is a casual game, so the most hardcore gamers will most probably not interested to our game. Secondly, our game is having a cute team, so the boys or the males will most probably uh, lose the interest of our game. Lastly, the 13 to 17 year old users are mostly students and for students they need to balance their study life and entertainment time. So our game will be very suitable for them because our game can be played anywhere, anytime and can be exited as the players want to when they have something else to deal with. Next, let me show you our game demo. In the game demo, the player has to control the penguin to collect all the fishes, which is three fishes, and at the same time, avoiding the enemy, which is the penguin, with red eyes and red hat. As the result for our playtesting among the alpha tester, which is us, we found that the main issue to be improved is the camera problem. In this case, when we move the mouse horizontally, in the beginning the camera will respond normally, which is it will move horizontally also. But starting from certain angle, it will suddenly move vertically also. Also, the size of the head-up display, which is the HQD, has to be improved. Before we end our video, let's talk about the retention in our game. The technique we use for the retention is kind of like a new way, but it's still under the apply quest technique. Our game has two levels and the quests for both levels are the same which is both which are both to collect all the fishes. But in the first level it will be super super easy. But in the second level it will be super hard. One of the real time real example is the game Ship Ship Match Three Tiles. It is a matching three games, but in the second level, the chances to solve the level is very very small. This difference between the difficulties of two levels has made the players keep trying to solve the levels even though they can't uh, solve it. So that's all for our presentation for this assignment one. Thank you.